Hi church, as I was walking yesterday, I was thanking God for such a beautiful spring day. He gave me a thought, spring, new life, hope, beauty, promises, his promises. I like to use acronyms and spring seemed perfect for times such as this. S, sing, sing and listening to Christian music lifts my heart, it lifts my eyes to Jesus. Just a couple days ago with my daughters in San Diego, we FaceTimed and we sang Kenny Rogers' greatest hits. That might not be your thing, but I'm sure that you can sing with your family, your favorite songs, worship songs, anything that just lifts your heart. God says to make a joyful noise. P, pray, pray until you praise. There's so many things to pray for right now. Your family, our nation, our community, our friends, our neighbors, our missionaries, our president. God says in Jeremiah 29, 12, then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you. R, read your Bible. God's word has all the answers. He's not quarantined. God is in every home that invites his in, him in. He will give you his time. 1 Timothy 4.13 says, Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, and to doctrine. I inspire others. This is a time I'm so thankful for social media. We can stay in touch via Facebook, um, Instagram, texting, Skype, and even calling one another on the phone. It's so important right now to reach out to others and to encourage one another. First Thessalonians 5.11, therefore encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. And many of you are, and I thank you so much for your scripture, for all the things that you're sharing with each other. N, needs, needs of others. Reach out to those who are shut in and need help with food or supplies. I know some of you are hoarders and uh, you can share with the elderly, your coworkers, and you can even share maybe that elusive hand sanitizer and toilet paper. Matthew 2540 says, the king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for, the, for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. And finally, give, give to others. Give them your love and your prayers in a tangible way, calling, texting scripture, sharing your testimony, sharing your faith at this time. We all need encouragement. Deuteronomy 3, 8, I'm sorry, 31, 8 says, it is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. And finally, I'd like to end with my favorite scripture, Jeremiah 29, 11. God's very special promise to all of us. For I know the plans I have for you, declared the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Love and blessings to all.